Hey, Legendary Lords. Sounds good. I'm just trying to fix a problem that we have here. I say we, I, the route in general has. This is a quest, right? Was it Robbie? I want to say it was Robbie who had this quest. Hey, Irish, how's it going? At any rate, where is the dark armor statues that we need here? I believe I just got 100% items in Dark Souls 2. Just checking to make sure I have everything. Nice, GG's. So at this point we have one, two, and I'm assuming the top one doesn't count. Like the one in the surface at a, what's it called? So then there's one, what looks like to be here. Yeah, this bargainer statue. And there's another one way over here. At the Grand of a Great Abandoned Central Mine, which is where we need to go anyways. Like this is our destination, really. So it makes sense to go down there. For those of you guys who are wondering, Specs, what the hell are you doing? Right now, the route, the, the, the glitched 100% route, has a problem. Like, it itself has an issue. Where they do the abandoned Elden Mine area, the Fire Temple area, before... I guess you have to come back here anyways. So is it really that big of an issue? Oh, hey, Kara, how's it going?
so glad you're running this. I have a hard time getting into it because there's so much that puts my ADHD into par paralyzed mode. I'm hoping to follow along when I play. Yeah, so uh, let me just kind of break down. Sorry, I was I was answering a message. Um, basically, what's happening right now is the 100% route with glitches on current patch goes to this abandoned Elden Mine, right? When they do the Fire Temple. There's a slight problem with that. The problem is, is that in their route, they still haven't been to the Great Abandoned Central Mine, right? Specs, why is that a big deal? It's a big deal because every single one of these mines and a lot of subsequent areas, they give you um, the, what do you call them? These little schematics. They have little guys that give you schematics. And they're required for 100%, as far as I understand, all the schematics. So what the route has ended up doing is having to go back to all these places later. The thought in my mind is, well, for Glitchless, we need to go here and to the Great Abandoned Central Mine early in order to get speed up food. Or not speed up food, but the speed up armor that we plan on using. So, why not just do the Great Abandoned Central Mine early before everything else? And then, when we pass by the Abandoned Elden Mine, when we are doing even the um, Spirit Temple, there's another one at the Spirit Temple that we have to do. Where is it? It's, um... Oh, shucks. Somewhere around here. I think it's this one. Yeah, here. So when we're at the Construct Factory here, there's another guy that we pass by here that gives a schematic that we already just don't even get the schematic from him. That would save us time in the long run because we've got to do it anyways because there's a thing here. So why don't we do it early? The question then becomes... How early do we want to do this? Well, we probably want to do it early enough so that we can make a bike. Right? But also, there's this quest here that I've just discovered. That I don't remember. I want to say it's the quest with... What's his face? The dude? where you get the camera. In fact, I'm almost positive this is the quest where you get the camera, which would also be kind of nice to have early game, right? So, how early do we route this? I mean, there are, oh, there are bombs here too. Lots of them. That is nice. Puff shrooms. More puff shrooms. I'm lost. I don't know where he goes. Let's do this. Um, let's go to the save file that we have. Chat, is there a way I can duplicate a save file from one Switch account to another? Does anyone know? I wish I knew this came up to help. You're good, you're good. This is this is the whole discovery process. It's why it's fun. We'll start with this. 
save the one that already completed the uh, water temple and we'll go from there. But ideally, I would want to complete this way early. I'm talking like right when I get the paraglider. Uh, not really though, because that's slow. So let's go to Lookout Landing for now. And we'll see what waits for us there when we get to the depths. I have a feeling it's gonna be there. I have a feeling the quest is going to be there. If I remember correctly, the quest starts at Lookout Landing. And then you have to go down to that depth nearby. Yeah, so Robbie's here. Right? And this is where it starts. So the question now is... Is it available here right after the Wind Temple. Because if it's available right after the Wind Temple, it might be in our best interest to do this. Because we already have routed in... Oh, hey, Bella. We already have routed in a new change to where we go back to Lookout Landing right after Wind Temple anyways. So, it would be in our best interest. We'd already be there. If, like, if I were to choose a place for us to have the... this whole section that I'm planning on doing, it would be right here. But if it's not available, it's not available. I'm just hoping it is. So, yeah. Yep, he's there. So, we would come here... We would grab a bunch of shields from Hestu. Bunch of shields and a bunch of swords, if I'm not mistaken. Bex, why do you need shields? Well, with shields, the more shields you have, the more rockets and, and bombs and stuff that you can combine onto a shield. And since we don't have duping, where we can just have infinite, you know, rockets and stuff, it's in our best interest to have as many shields as possible. So that in the few moments where we're given rockets for free, we can just stack up on them. You know what I mean? That's 10, right? Yeah. So we would have exactly enough to get five shields. Will we get five full shields? Maybe. Maybe we'll get four and then a couple swords. We'll see. Uh, we would get this. We would sell these. Sell a bunch of these. What else could we sell? This file doesn't have them, but we would have like a bunch of other construct stuff. There are only three, but every little bit helps. These are 30, that's kind of nice, but no. Do that for now. Buy arrows. 
Then we would come over here. We would open this up. We would open up the emergency shelter. We would grab stamina. This is all stuff that is done in the run later on, by the way, in the normal 100% run, the glitched run. We're just doing it early. Like, that's literally all we're doing, is we're doing it a little bit early. This allows us to grab two at least, which is nice. Do I have an abundance of Korok seeds at this point in the run, or do you have to work out which slots you would like to invest limited supply? Exactly, yes. We we don't have an abundance. We need to determine which ones we want. Definitely shields. Definitely at least four in shields. And then it would probably be in that case, since we have five, it would be four in shields, and then two swords, one bow maybe we are one off from another seed by the way and does this file this file did not so this file would have enough to get three stamina uh, at this point we would have enough to get three stamina at this point this file doesn't but we would be able to and we start this for the uh, camera So now, we got this thing. We would obviously probably start with him first, then the secret thing, and then has to. Again, we would have speed food at this point. No, we wouldn't have speed food at this point. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. I believe Robbie is here, yeah. He's got his tent over here. It actually might be better to fly now that I think about it. Uh, Robbie? No, he's not here. Is this Robbie? No, we just go down. Huck. Huck. We just head straight down. And this is our first encounter with the depths. And then we would light this guy. First time you get to death, the music's so good. The music in this game in general is pretty, pretty damn good. I will say.
Hey, Nuki Dog, thanks for the good luck, man. How are you doing? Hella rough, can't lie, dude. Feel you, man. Let me go this way. What are the odds? But there is a. Oh my god, let's go. Two mouth ulcers, one on each side of the tongue, would not recommend. Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't even do it if you paid me. Where did he go, though? He's not here. Head west towards one of the glowing roots. Okay, yeah, so we do head to, towards the light roots. So we get up here. even a higher spot that we might be able to reach. Right. Yeah, back right there. And that gets even higher. Just do this, I think. Oh. I wonder. It does look like a bunch of fairies at first glance. I've been tricked several times thinking that those were fairies. That's funny though that the first time you get mouth ulcers, it's it's double mouth ulcers. It's not funny, but it is kind of funny. Yeah, I've, I've had those quite a few times. Come on. Thank you. If I just do this here... Would that be enough to take me all the way? I still like that better, because it passes by a whole bunch of bullshit. Let me talk to Robbie. Gives us the camera. The 
best I can do to help. Yara, thank you for the 27 month resub. I appreciate it. It's not necessary, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you. Okay, now what? Took a picture. Okay, show it to Joshua. Okay. So now at this point. At this point, we want my roots. We're here at the Lysis right light route. We need to go straight south to the Ni Nikayam one, and then straight south again, and then straight south again. So our, our entire destination is literally just straight south from here. Question is, what can we be doing on the way? this because at this point of the game we have zero pose we need 150 by the time we get there which is a bit of an order of the tall variety if you catch my drift I think we can squeeze it. I don't think it's worth it. Right, Cape Head South. There's this bullfrog dude. We do have this at this time. Six bombs, it's not really enough. We do have those cannons, notably. This is a normal frogs. Here we can do this, I think. Is that my best bow? That's my best bow.
Now, aren't these guys like always defending like a uh, pile? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What can we make that is efficient? Nothing, because we don't have... Could make a wing. A wing thing. But we don't have wheels. The wing thing with a hover... So we got these wheels. Only one, though. We're going to have to look at that. There's a non-zero chance that we... Also, where is this? Uh, can we look at pose on this? I wonder. Great. Oh. Called, right? Great pose. Maybe po. Large pose. Pose. Okay. So Grand is what it is. It's Grand Po. So we'll put Grand Po. There are one, two, three, four, and then Large Po. Notably, there is one of these things over here. I want to check it out. The reason I'm doing this on this file, by the way, and not the, the file that has all the stuff and the light and everything, is because I want to see how it would look when I play it, you know? To see if it's even doable. right up there. All right, oh, I see it. This guy. What do we have to work with here? Actually, no steering wheels, but I could do something with this. Yeah, and the light route that I just did was right there.
grab this guy. And then... Wait, is this the one I'm looking at? I'm, in, I'm at the wrong one. I'm actually at the wrong one. I'm way further than I thought. What is this thing? Whatever it is, it has nothing good in it. Let's go back over here. So there's that, and then right below, like right there. Okay, no, I'm in the right spot, I think. No, I'm not. I'm definitely not. What I'm looking at is way further up. Okay, so I'm actually further down than I thought I was. I'm not way up there. I'm here. Okay. This Daphne's Canyon Mine. I want to take a look at it. But it's a bit out of the way from everything else. it have we need to go in here anyways anything else worth worth grabbing here I mean, that's a resounding no. These deposits are not worth coming down here for. And unfortunately, the mine itself isn't really worth coming down here. So we'll just, we'll just stop by here later, I guess. So yeah, we would just go straight down. We would kill the Prox, grab his stuff. Over here, rather. Yeah, because the Prox is over here. So Frox is this way, right? Or was he back there? I think he was over here. Yeah, Mr. Frox is right there. We would go this way, I think. Yeah, I can see the thing right here. Yeah, we would go this way. Rather than going down to Mr. Frox, we'd go over here. Check this out. Not super worth. I'm just running, by the way, but we would use a, a thingy. Worry not. Like this though. Yeah. How do you cancel the gust?
come over here. We could build something that takes us all the way. Uh, not all the way, but close. Actually. Hold the phone, guys. Hold the phone. There's a chasm that's even closer. And we already have the shrine next to it. Hey, Orisk. It's going. It's... I am racking my brain cells. For sure. Okay, so... I believe it's this one. No, it's the one on the plateau. So then I guess... Wings, fans, flame emitters, pots. Rockets. Wing cannon, spring time bomb. Balloon, fan, something, I think pots. Hey, Ironhide. How you doing, man? So, no. We would... We would go back to Lookout Lake here. And do it this way. Because then it would also give us the opportunity to get more pose, even though there aren't a ton. If I'm being completely honest with you all, there aren't a lot of pose. Finally over the pink eye and COVID that you've had all week. Dude, that blows. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're over it, though. That just says pose. Don't need that yet. Okay, then we come over here. Talk to this guy to go underneath. really wants that camera up in the tent. Oh god. Nico Rems. Really? <laughs> How's it going, dude? Thank you for the 75 month resub, my friend. In a row. That's crazy. No, I don't want stamina.
Welcome back to Looney Bin, dude. Don't forget to take your pants off. Sorry, my mind is, is all over the place. Talk to Hatsu. Nope, not weapon. Actually, yeah, we'll do four shields and then two weapons and one bow. But the four shields are more important, so we want to make sure we got them. Or five shields, even. This will cost five. So yeah, we do want five shields and then two swords and a bow. Or maybe even more. Basically the rest on swords and then whatever is left over on bows. I guess we can just do all swords if we wanted to. Do we need bows? I actually don't think we need bow. Ah, uh, we might want bow slots. We might want bow slots. We'll do two bow slots. Because if we're going to do the Lionel Coliseum early... then we're going to want to be able to grab those bows of theirs. So yeah, we might end up replacing them with our current ones though, so we'll see. Then we come over here. This guy. And the other one isn't back yet. Unfortunately. So we'll just go here. Our destination's over there. But. We'll take it. Actually really good.
Sword still in the stone is my favorite of all weapons. Hey, we use it a lot in speedruns, which is even better. Shape rotation. Pretty sure this one you just... Oh yeah, this one you just, like, bounce off everyone. So before we go in here, we need two shields with bombs on them. Which we can get. What is in this chest? I'm gonna check. Might actually be worth. be worth also at this point we wouldn't have four of the things we would just have one because in the route that we're planning we're going to have more stamina and at this point we can go in That'll work. There's nothing important in between, so we'll just go straight to the camera.
straight south. And then from here we go this way. I want to say. Here, go this. Then we can point it and go over here. Actually, I could have done this before. Is attach one of these guys for my. Oh, I don't have rockets at this point. I thought I had rockets at this point. Oh. Well. I don't think that's fast. It's not worth it, no. That doesn't give him the actual thing. That's dumb.
Yeah, it's gotta be out of the capsule. I realized that. Did it. It was actually fairly harmless. Throw all the frog stuff. Get all the zonite we can get right now. Also remind me that going to the station is worthless when the time comes. So I can't see. Light route. Is that okay? Where is this thing? Oh, here it is. Take the bombs. So many bombs, holy crap. So many bombs, what? It's like seven. I don't need the metal buds now. Why? Where is it? I'm actually lost. I'm lost in the sauce. Here's this thing. This is literally the destination, but like... <laughs> I'm missing something in between. Or am I? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm dumb. Okay, so we get this one. Go this way. Go down to this guy. And then it actually is a very long way in the dark to the next one. So I'm actually probably on the right track.
Yeah, I'm at the central mine. I passed the light route. <laughs> it's like over there somewhere. What the hell? I legit passed the light route. Like over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there was a wall. That's why I couldn't see it. But it was here. Ooh, what's this? Looks good. It's not. Okay, so then wait. How did I miss it? It is a bit hidden, to be fair. So I definitely want to hit up wherever the hell it was that had all those bombs. Whatever trees they were that had all the bombs. Okay, so it's right under this guy. That's good to know. Ooh, horses are actually huge. More bombs. There's two, though. Still. Bombs are huge in this. Okay, what? What is this? What is this save? What did I just click on? Oh, that's what. Oh, hi, dude! That's what the save is. That's the ideal scenario. They kill him like that. If I water myself before I start fighting him, I could even get that last one. Ooh, guts pog, actually. Shit, some of this stuff all the way over here. Okay. The shape the same. We'll be back later for the plateau quest, the GP quest, the goddess statue. Yeah, I know. I'm debating on whether or not I want to do that now, honestly. In fact, no, because we have to do these light routes anyways. It's slightly slow to do these light routes and go from here. Like, you know, you go here, go to this guy to get the camera, which we have to do anyways, the camera quest. Then come down to this, then go down to here. It is slightly slower to do it that way, but it saves us a warp. And we're grabbing this stuff anyways. It, yeah, it, it, it just makes sense in my head. Okay, so now... We're running, right? We're, we're, we're jumping. Grab these guys. This is where all the bombs are. I 
Fertig. I will use a light route here. Just for the bombs. Yeah, this is where all the, the bombs are. Okay. Yeah, but just out, right next to the, the thingies. And then we head towards this fire, I think. No, we don't need photo gloves. Yeah, so then... Whoops. So then at this one... Back here. Oh, well, there's a bomb. So once we get all the bombs here... I think we want to do this. That works too, I guess. And this... It does! Okay, we've got it. That's not bad at all, honestly. And so then we want to go this... Uh... Hold on. Lar large pose. Actually, I'm just going to put pose. All of them. Show all the pose on the map. There's a collection there. There's a collection there. There's a large pose there. I do think I want to do that. Okay. So, yeah. See that large pose? So, I'm actually going to, from here... We pop the speed potion at this point. We run this way to the pose. Where are they? Or are they the ones up here? I think they're the ones up here. They are. Okay. So we'll grab these first. We'll look at the camp and we'll get the ones next to the camp. And then we'll glide down to the light route. We'll just know it's there. Alright. Glide down to the light route. Like this. Okay. Then we go this way. Around here. Grab these ones. Uh, and then there's the large one there. Uh, or we could just... Oh, bombs, 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 bombs. How many? Three? Four? Let's go. Okay, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's actually amazing. Shame I can't go up that. Bombs on this one. That's fine. Then we come over here. Grab these guys. Grab these guys. So we're going what looks like here. Um bomb. Barrel, bomb, barrel, bomb, barrel, bomb flower, I think is what I'm looking for. Bomb barrels. Bomb barrels. Bomb flower, not a thing. Bomb 
flower maybe. Bomb flower. How about tree? Like the bomb trees. What are those in the object map? Gigantic plant, statue, zonite deposits, plant weed, gigantic plant, generation group. nothing on it. Unfortunately, I can't look to see where the bomb flowers spawn. That is a bit unfortunate, but okay. It's not a big deal. The fuck is down there? Uh-oh. Now the question is, where are the large, or the the gi the giant Poe things? Maybe up there. Let's take a look here. We're at the great abandoned mine now. There's a grand Poe one, two at the secret spring of renewal. It might be worth going through Grove of Spirits. Is there anything that we need besides the grove itself and the grove of spirits? It might be worth going through grove of spirits, but I don't know. What I do know is that there are gigantic pose here. Two of them. Those two. That gets us to 99. this stuff.
Helga. Easy. Quite easy. That gives us a hundred. Of the stuff. Here, and I, and I can buy stuff, right? How much do I need? Three large ones. I can buy ten of these. And then from here... I need to get the statue guy, but I don't have enough bows yet. I need the other large bows from the secret revival place. So I don't want to go here. I want to go. I want to go that way. I want to go this way. That's water, I think. I'm just looking, by the way. Actually, not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, probably not worth getting. So I'm trying to think where. Hmm. 
Yeah, so we need to go to the west. Just that way. going here, yeah. Food either. Ouch. Ouch. Thank you. So yeah, if there's a way to get to the top with a single ascend or even get close to the top with a single ascend, that would be nice. So we get to here, and then from here, we head down to the spring. Right? Spring. That way? Oh, I went to the wrong place. I thought I went to this one. Okay, well, let's go to this one again. We will still go to that. That's a good warp point for later. But, uh, yeah, no, I went the wrong way. I went the entirely wrong way. But this spot is probably still a good spot. We just need to go this way. Where is he? He's up top, I think. Is it not up top? Do I just... Do this? Where 
Where is he? He's not even here. He's back over there. Okay, so I'm going here first, I think, is the plan. So I do this, right? I go through the grove to here. And then from here, from the top here, I could then glide over to here, I think. Which is over that way. Try. Let's see. Does this make it? Oh, it does. Glide here. Go boom. And then from here... easily reach this way. And this will be good because I'll take better, I'll make better use of my, what do you call it? Okay, this is the entrance to him. Looks like all of this was for nothing. Looks like I do have to do the entire plateau thing then for this. Okay. So. Scratch all of that. Scratch literally everything we've done. That's okay. It's part of the process. That's why we do this. So. What we would do then is we would still take our trip to... What's it called? We warp here, do all the stuff that we need to. Question is, do we still get the camera? I'm leaning towards no. I'm not even sure if we progressed this quest yet, but we're doing it for the guilds. Yeah, you know, it actually might be in our best interest to instead to do the watch. So we go from here. Oh wait, no, we can't. That's silly, we can't glide. We can't use the powers in here. So no, we would just do this. We would just walk over to this guy. 
open the shelter, grab the stamina, get the slots from Hatsu. And again, we would have three slots instead of just two that we would turn in. Because there's one extra shrine that we routed in. I'm also going to save after this. I know it's been a while since we've set our save spot, but we're going to save after this part right here. Just so we don't have to go through this whole thing over and over again as we're routing. Hey Juju, happy Friday to you as well. How you doing? Pretending to work sounds about right. Uh, no, we won't continue this actually. So then from here, we would then warp to this. Right? Yeah. We would then warp to Inaisa. I think. Assuming we don't have anything closer, which I don't think we do. Uh, we might. You know what we do, that's right on top. 
Yeah, we that's right on top of where we want to be. This one have time bombs and rocket. This would be a good opportunity to restock on rockets. Real talk. Here. Also, I didn't save, but oh well. Oh, we could drop down to this. This would be really good to do. Uh, and then I could also, at this point, fuse this guy if I wanted to with this, but I don't think I need to. And that's another map that we can get. Weekend! That is! Welcome, my friend! How goes? There's a Korok seed here. You know what would have been faster for me to do? Tired as fuck, but you're alive. You know what would have been faster for me to do, chat? Nothing but DevOps work this week, dude. I feel ya. This. Where is Mr. Korok Seed? Where is Mr. Korok Seed? It's not here, it's over back at the arena, actually. Yeah, it's back at the arena. Like over here. How it goes here? It goes! I just spent a lot of time routing something to then realize, you know what, this isn't gonna be good. Um, yeah, it's like over here, next to this thing. 
what it says. Touch the target. Yeah, it's one of the little, like, grabby things. see it. Maybe I'm blind. Exactly. See, that's the way to think. Yeah, so he's supposed to be right here. Is he maybe up there? He's up there, isn't he? I'm mad. I'm mad. So we do this. Do this guy. Where is this other island then? Right there. Okay. Then we wouldn't drop down. We would bounce up. Is what I'm getting. Or do we already have him, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, so he's up there. Thanks for the good luck, man. Appreciate it. Drop down, kill that guy. And once we kill this guy, it begins. Is he the one that has it? Now, I've forgotten how to do this, guys. It's been too long since I've done this thing. So I might need to refer... Is that it right there? No, this is a Korok seed. Sneak strike chain? Yeah, you probably can. Is it in here?
I was hoping you would set it on fire, but you know what, that works too. I guess. Nothing. I don't know where this is. I might have to just watch and see what they do for this part. And I don't know where this part is in the run. Damn, they do basically everything before they do the plateau. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, Plateau's like near the end. Funny enough. So I guess the question is then this. Is the Plateau one worth it? Or is that the one that we don't do? Because in order to get the Dark Armor, well, first off, we need the full Dark Armor. In order to get the full Dark Armor, we need to get all but one, right? Is it in our best interest to not grab this one? Because, yeah, in order to get the Dark Hood, you need five. That costs 300. Trousers cost 200. Tunic costs 150, totaling in 650 pose you need. Is the Dark Armor not the Strat, guys? I don't know at this point. Why would you not want all three pieces? Well, I mean, you have to get all three either way. You have to get all three of them either way because that's part of the 100% requirements. The reason why we're trying to get it early is for the speed up. But that seems like it is... Proving to be difficult, if not, not worth it. If 
it's proving to be very tricky at best. Not worth at worst. Because how do we, okay, so how do we get, let's say that we don't get that one. Let's say we don't get that one. The one that has the, that's at the plateau. Right? The others That one's not easy. That one's not easy to get to at all. And even if we do get to it, debts, pose. I mean, to be fair, there's actually a decent number of pose on my way there. If we drop down, oh, how do you get there though? Oh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not thinking this is worth it, guys. I honestly don't think this is worth it. Hey, Thela, it's going. It's it's tricky for sure. Max with the 39 month resub. Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome back to the loony bin. Feel free to take your pants off. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Hmm. For now, we might have to resign ourselves to the fact that we're not going to have speed up. No, but if we're not going to have speed up, we might as well just do things in a different order so that we get it earlier, right? That's the only thing that makes sense to me.
This is definitely a problem. The thing is, once we have this routed, we're golden. Okay, I want to check some things first.
Oh my god, stop. It's not gonna work. No. Probably here then. Probably look out landing. Unless... Such a silly decision that the platform balloons and air gliders have a limit. I mean, it makes sense so as to not to like, you know, overuse or take advantage of it. It's right here. That is actually arguably better. What is our destination? This is our destination. As crazy as it sounds, guys, this is our destination. We do complete Death Mountain shortly after completing this. Maybe that's when we do this. And we just go without speed food until then. Unless.
I mean, that's like two thirds of the way. And then a glider for the rest. I'm actually super high up from here. Granted, I'm not going to be able to see shit. Oh, I could actually. That would work. That would help. I'm actually going this way. Should see it by now. Supposedly right in front of me, but I don't see it. Is it really above me? There's this I can climb. God, there it is. What the actual?
not gonna help though, is it? It is. And that takes me to the top. So my question now becomes, is this worth it? Let's try Let's try it. Let's try. We'll see how it feels. See how it feels, see how it looks. There aren't exactly a lot of Korok seeds to get on the way either. Also, remind me to save after this, guys. I, I've got to remember to save. Oh, gosh. Keep forgetting to save. Oh, ah.
Now we save. All right, let's try this. Before I go anywhere, what's over here? Is there anything good here? No. Doesn't look like any Korok seeds either, so... Question is now, does this make it?
Yeah, it makes it. Barely, but it makes it. Ooh, dude. It's up there. I don't have a flame emitter. torch. Problem with the torch is it's not going to take me far enough. <laughs> Now that being said, you know the problem with this is? We have no pose. But we don't need pose. Ideally, we just need the location, right? Because we don't need to buy it now.
Is that him? That's him right there. You can see him. That's awesome. How long is this elevator ride? Till right here. That's all we need to do. And then it activates the dark tunic. We don't need to buy anything right now. We don't need pose. We just needed the location. Right? From here, we could do other stuff if we wanted to. We've got the height. Where it would kind of make sense for us to go somewhere. But we don't have to. In fact, having this location over here would be kind of golden. Right? Right? Because, like, that's the thing. We don't really need Pose until the last one. Where we need 650 of them. As long as we have 650, by the time we get to the last one, we're fine. from here we can go anywhere let me check the map and see if there's anything really notable that we could go to right now I don't think there is but what is it a giant Poe oh grand Poe I think is what it's called yeah I mean, there's one here at this Yiga clan, but other than that, nothing spectacular. Whirling Basher. Three rockets. Large crystallized charge? Hold on a second. 
three rockets and a large crystallized charge might be worth diving down to. Huge crystallized charge. Oh, that's for a boss arena, though. We can't get that yet, because... Actually, which boss is this? Is this a boss we can do? I don't think it is. Well, let's check. It's south. So we'll be going south from here. here that thing is four that is nice that's a 20 right there that is nice let me go down to this guy That lights up the arena and then some. Not quite lighting up what I need to go down to, but what is the arena? Is the arena a boss I can do? It's not. It doesn't look like one anyways. No. Okay, this is a different boss then. Unfortunate. If it was the Wind Temple boss, that would have been huge, because then I could get that crystallized charge. Right, because the, these arenas are just the, the, the temple bosses redone, right? I'll get him. Stop by here real quick. this guy. We might end up going straight to this one. Yeah, it's likely what we're doing. Going just straight to this one instead. Running over here. Going over to the Drina Canyon mine. chest supposedly right here somewhere at the top of this Ooh, bombs take the bombs
the bombs. Where is this chest, though? Oh. The large crystallized charge, at least, is here. Oh, I got you baited by the game. Poor man's middle, yeah, pretty much. Grab the charges. Break these. And then warp out. Oh no, no, grab this. Actually, I have a... What do you call it? Don't I? I do have cannons. Oh, just two. Yeah, there's the whole thing. That's actually nice. Yeah, I actually do like that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do like that. Hey, mad lad. How are you? So. Let me plot this out in my mind. So let me plot this out in my mind real quick. So let me disable these. The way that my brain is thinking right now. Oh, don't want all those. So we work here, or sorry, we work here to look at landing. We get the, um, what's the word? We get the statue or we, we get stamina. We get more, um, slots, more inventory slots, go into this, right? Get the camera and then come over to, I think it's right here. Yeah, right here to this bargainer statue, okay? So we would go from here to here and then from here over this way to this bargainer statue. Probably grab this light route on the way. Then we would warp to the sky up to here that we already have. Glide all the way over to here. To dive down into this. To this bargainer statue. Grab this light route. Grab this light route. And then grab the um, 20 pack of energy. And all of the, uh, what do you call it, stones that are here. All the, the zonite that's there. Because look, we got 29 zonite off of that. And three large ones. That's pretty good. And then we get the 20 pack of energy. What the heck, see? What doing? What doing? And then we warp out to... Here. 
to then continue what we were doing before. That's four. That's four. That's four out of five. Where's the fifth one? Okay. The fifth one. is going to go right after we're done with Zora's Domain. Because it's right here, right? Right there. That's Zora's Domain. So we would complete this dungeon, probably warp back up to Ihen A, glide over to this chasm, which puts us right next to it. And just like that, we've done it. We've done it. That gives us speed food. Or that gives us speed by the time we've completed um, that Divine Beast. Which is like five hours in. Four and a half hours in. There is still one problem, though. Pose. At this point, we have collected next to no pose. We maybe have enough for two pieces of armor. Certainly not three. There's a grand po here. That looks like an arena that we can complete. Grand po here. What is the best way to get 650 pos? The great abandons, no. Grind them out. How? I guess we would be just going around completing stuff. How many pose? So... From here to here, there are quite a few pose. But this is like, even if we get most of these, that's maybe 20, 30 of them, right? Even if we get most of these. Yeah, because like that's the thing is that it doesn't make sense in my mind. Do I get the Barge Grinner statue below Dueling Peaks? Below Dueling Peaks. Hmm. 
this one. Oh, that's also a bargainer statue. No, we don't. The one we were going to grab was this one over here. Because it's right below, um, uh, what do we call it, Zora's Domain. This one. That is a lot of pose, actually. That is a lot of pose. That one's got a big chunk of them. This has a chunk of them here. The smithing construct. Great Abandoned Mine has a bunch, but we can't go there. Wait, I'm dumb. Yeah, we do do this one. Yeah, this is the, yeah, okay. This was one of the first ones we routed. So yeah, no, this, this is the first one we routed. This is the one at the, what do you call it? At the temple. Yeah, you... Of course we do. This is the run that you literally watched me route. Don't collect them as efficiently then? I do, I just don't get all of them. Because you have to realize they're all on different floors. That's the thing about them is that they're all on like different floors. So I do grab like a bunch of these ones. I grab this one and then the three on top. Or the two on top or however many they are on top. I don't grab this guy, which would be good to grab. Or this one. And this would actually no, I do grab this one. What are the other armor sets that give speed up? Because it might be a situation of it's easier to get other armor and pay the money plus the upgrading. The tingle set. Stealth armor. Misko's cave side quests. Dueling Peaks has two of them, from what I'm seeing. No, it has one of them. Yeah, so Dueling Peaks... Has the shirt. Farron. Deep Farron. And Gerudo Highland? No. Stealth armor. Let's see what that one does. They're just all way too out of the way, unfortunately. It's the easiest to upgrade, okay. You just buy it? You don't have to go get it, you can just buy the whole thing? That's what I'm seeing here. It's the st it's stealth mask, stealth chest guard, stealth tights, right? 
the ones that they sell at the at Kakariko, or is it a different stealth armor? Yeah, and then you just complete that that quest, the the Gloomborn one. And in order to complete the Gloomborn quest, you need like the Gloom thingy. So you would get one from somewhere. There's a lot. We stopped by um, Akala. And then it's just a Sundalion, Milk, and Hylian Rice. We kill the Gloom Hands here. When we're in here. When we're in this area, we kill the Gloom Hands here. Get the Gloom items. You don't need gloom items? You don't? A gloom healing recipe. Oh, gotcha. So it's the Sundalion, Milk, and Hylian Rice. Milk and Hylian Rice... You can buy Milk and Hylian Rice from... The, uh, what do you call it, can't you? From this place. I know you can buy Hylian rice here. I don't know about milk. No. Not yet, anyways. I know they later sell stuff, like, here. Where can you get milk? At least this early in the game. But yeah, all that would require of us. Traveling merchants. Ooh. I don't like that. Ateno. That's better. It's out of the way. But that's better. It's actually not even that out of the way because we have... We have these two. But that means that it's literally... Just a few bosses and Hateno away from us getting that. Because we would kill the bosses for items. Right? Yeah, we would kill the bosses for items, and then we would be able to sell them. How much money is that total? It's 1200 1800 It's a bit steep, but I think we can pull it off. Unfortunately, these don't sell for a whole lot. They kind of sell, but not for a lot. Those also went down in price. In Breath of the Wild, they used to be 130. It's unfortunate. Outskirts stable and Riverside stable for milk.
Right, you say that, but the fucker could be anywhere. Could be literally anywhere. That's a long road. Riverside over there. That's Beetle. I was going to say, if that's him, I'm going to lose it. Switch this to Giggles. Not super viable, I get it. Question now becomes, I guess this is the only way to there. Yeah, that way. See so that traveler or Hateno? Yeah, thing is Hateno is a little bit more consistent, I think. No, that's not terrible. We have to go that direction anyways. But it's better if we have like a craft, like a hovercraft or something. This way, but not that way. Do springs work on shields? It's a good question. Oh, it does, but it disappears immediately. We could put some springs on shields if we wanted to, then, if we see springs just out in the wild. This guy. Hi. Ah. 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 You just said out loud, my brother in Christ. <laughs> Parga. Was that... No, it's a lady, so it's not them then. This one?
<laughs> I've been double jebated. This one, that's Beetle. Are they chilling at the stable? Well, Mr. Vettist. That's not the path you told me. Let's try the Reddit path. Try the path that Reddit says. To be correct. I mean, if that's the correct path, then it's even better. The other thing was from some wiki. I mean, if this is correct, then it's even better for us. I, I would prefer the Reddit path to be the correct one. Well, yeah, we already know the other one isn't correct. The question is, is this one correct? It doesn't automatically make this one correct. Just shoot up and glide. Yeah, but that misses a lot of, like, terrain. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. I'm gonna look at this path again. That Sir Vettis has sent me. Just goes straight down. Might as well get a horse for this? Absolutely, yes. We would do the horse, um... The horse quest. The horse is a shit horse. way Give me your milk, lady. I mean, give me some milk. I mean, mommy. I mean, okay. Um, we can do stuff here. Is the thing, even if. She was, like, all the way. 50 rupees in the last yeah. ruins. That's nice. Oh. 
Even if this did take us all the way to the... What do you call it? The shrine here? Because apparently this shrine is the last place. So it's from here. I wonder if there's consistency in her movement... Like, does she always get to another place at, like, a specific time, or...? Probably not, but... I have a feeling the movement is just, like, you could track her for a bit, no worries. What we would do is, just for the sake of, you know, time and everything, because we have no idea how what the time's gonna be, we would route in stuff all through here until the shrine. So regardless of where she is, we grab her eventually. So we would route things all the way until the shrine or further even. And then we would do other stuff. So there's that. And then we would already have the flower. In fact, I'm like 90% certain we do already have the flower. Yeah, we have Sundelions. So now is just the money. We could just fight Talus bosses. How many Taluses are there? This map doesn't show bosses, overworld bosses, unfortunately. But I do know that Hyrule Field and going in like the area around here has a lot of bosses that we could just kill. Potentially, for money. Because it's only 1,800 that we need. We're at 630 with what we've done so far. The two taluses next to castle. In this area? Are you talking like here? I don't know where they are. I guess I can look. Uh, Talus. Oh yeah, there's a stone Talus right here. Battle Talus here. Oh, that's in the depths. Urgh! Surface. The green ones? Yeah, so this guy. This guy. This guy. Around this bridge, there's two of them. That one's in the depths. Yeah, this bridge has two of them, though. That is nice. The one up north, this one is a rare one. That's a battle talus. Oh, this is the luminous one. So we got one, two, three right here. Four. These ones are underneath, right? Yeah, they're underneath. That one's underneath. This one is here. The luminous one. Where's the rare ones? What color are they? Battle Talus, Battle Talus, Luminous. 
Why the fuck is it like poor? I know, right? We just saved the world. Edges of the map mostly. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. There is one luminous, 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 luminous. I was thinking we're here, so we could also just, but no. We are in Rito Village. There's a Frost Talus here. Underground, of course. 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 That one's not. Oh, I hate this so much. So yeah, this guy and this guy and this guy we could get, at least. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing really here. There's the 50 pack that you were talking about. I'm not sure how worth that is. I guess it would be a lot of rare ore deposits in all the other stuff that we're doing as well. That maybe we're missing out on. But I do like those three. I wonder if she gets to us at night. Because if she gets to us at night here, then instead of going down this way, through here, we could actually just go this way and just kind of move along around here. I don't know if this is a of course not. That one is. There's a battle, battle talus there too. Just kind of move our way around this way and down to get to Kakariko. So that we would hopefully have money by that time. Also, these mountains supposedly are filled with rare ore deposits, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's two. Rare ore deposit. Rare ore deposit in the sky, of course. You need two fairy ladies too. Yeah, that's true. There's one here. I think the first one is here. Or does it matter what order you do them in? I think it does matter if I remember correctly. I'm almost positive it matters. The first one I did was here. Which is good, because that means we can go boom, 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 boom. This one, right? And we only need two. Let me check. That's a good question. Fairy, Fountain, to the Kingdom. How to find and unlock great fairy fountains. Of course, this website is riddled in ads. Okay. First great fairy fountain is in the Woodland Stable.
Apparently you need to become a reporter. Hey, Michael Bear. How you doing? So apparently you need to become a reporter first. So like, if I do it now, I don't think it's gonna let me, is what I'm gathering. Because I'm not a reporter. You have to do that in Rito Village, which we could easily do. We just need to stop by the Rito stable while we're there, after we're done with the uh, Divine Beast. Or dungeon, or whatever it is. So where would be where would be the first guy, the first talus? First talus would be here next to the shrine. They go over here. One ruby. Don't want that. And what's in the chest? Another ruby is nice. arrows too. So we grab this. Do this shrine. Combat training, throwing, okay, that's fine.
New Zelda hoodie. Nice. That's cool. Do I get his stuff? Not sure how worth that climb is, but what's in here? We do want those. Those are big. How worth do you think the uh, Luminous Stone one would be? Mary Chain Ketchum. Thank you for the two-month resub. Best speedrunner. Not not a great lot. Exactly. I think we'll save that for later, honestly. Ten rupees of stone. But we have to pass by there is the thing. We have to pass by there, so it's like might as well. Do this guy. Etc, etc, etc. Yeah, welcome back to the loony bin. Feel free to take your pants off, Mary Jane. Come over here. Actually, no, we go this way. Grab that guy. That was not good, unfortunately. Maybe we come over here. How many rupees? 1800. I think every little bit counts. I'm going in. Nice flint. You're following the milk seller? Nice. Lookout landing, 9 p.m. Cool. That is not great at all. Yeah. Just doing that gives me 50 though. Like that was basically 50.
a lot of flint, my guy. What does the flint sell for again? Like one? I'm assuming there's no other entrances here. We would do all this stuff around here, and then this shrine here. A hundred flint for an Elden quest. Then it's worth, I guess. Five, okay. It's not terrible then. Oh, it's this. That's correct. No, not quite. No, not quite. This one right there. That might not be high enough, but we'll see. It works. That's better. What's in the chest here? Where is the chest here? Why is the chest here? They're not a no, there's a chest in everyone. Oh, it's right there. I'm dumb. I'm dead.
No. Oh, fine. It's not fine. Can I have it back, please? Guess not. And it's kind of worth it. That is kind of worth it. For my purposes, anyways. Because that is good durability. I might end up getting it. Sorry. All right, let's answer the question that we've been meaning to get answered. sell can't you trade now oh. anyways so yes the answer is I need to be a reporter, so that's something that we can... What is needed to upgrade it, by the way, to level 2? Like, what items are needed? Nightshade and Fireflies, 24 and 15. Where are you going to get all that Nightshade and all that Fireflies? I mean, Fireflies, CAC is full of those. Nightshade? I know there's Nightshade and Cac, but is there 24? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There's 19 in CAC. And then a ton next to Tuckerock. So, yeah. She always gets here around 1330, but sleeping till noon around there won't spawn her. Gotcha. Yeah, more likely than not, we're just going to route the entire area, is what will happen. 
And then what we can do is... Hmm. What we can do... Hold on a second. Phone's ringing my doorbell. Sorry about that. Um, also, I have to leave soon to get my daughter. So, just as a heads up, guys. I'll probably uh, end stream, get my daughter, have lunch, and then I'll be back in a couple hours. Um, this is what I'm thinking. I could drop, like, from the sky, either here or here. Yeah, I could go to the sky and then drop here where it begins. Sky drop here and then start the route you know probably like drop here grab this grab this come over here grab this grab this guy grab this korok and this shrine and then get her come over to this korok seed grab this up to lookout landing and then i turn in lookout landing stuff so korok seeds etc 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 that would give me one, two, maybe even three more, what do you call it? That wouldn't be enough to get a whole nother gather. That wouldn't be enough. Hey, Beatmasters. I would have to get this exchange ruins one if I wanted to, which I could. That would be one, two, three, four. That's a whole nother stamina bar. Either this one or this one. Probably this one. What does this give? An arrow chest. Oh, stamina food. Stamina food's useless. So yeah, the arrow chest. One, two, three, four. Do either of these two have good, like, grabbable items? Also, to note, Vettist, whoops, because we are doing this, we could actually, instead of running all the way to this, we can do the fast strat. You know what I'm talking about? So we get this Korok seed here, or not. We don't even need to get this Korok seed. But if we wanted to, we get this Korok seed, run over to here, and then we would glide over 
where we would wing over and then ascend to Uko. Does that make sense? Yeah, probably not that much, but it would save a decent amount because normally in the speed run, I think they ascend. Yeah, normally I think they go like right here and they go all the way down or even further, probably like right there or something. Yeah, no, 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 no. They go, they come out here and they go from here all the way there. We would be coming from right here, if that makes sense. So it wouldn't save that much, but it would save a decent amount of time for sure. Although, yeah, that's still a lot. So we would go, we would use the glider here. Is that possible even? Let me just triple check before I go saying things. Yeah, it feels a way, way better. Let me see what that would look like. And then we wouldn't even get... We, we wouldn't even need to get this Koroxid here. We don't even need to get him. Don't worry about him. Because we're going to warp here later when we do this whole thing. And so we'll grab him and then we'll drop off. So, is this even possible? We would be where? Yeah, it would be up there, for the north. I don't know why I warped here. I could have warped to... Actually, yeah, you know what? I don't know why I warped here. Just go the here. You can't spawn the NPCs around Lookout Landing at midnight, so noontime, that oath is more consistent. Gotcha. What if we're not in the area and we make it noon? So like, when we warp there, before dropping down, we make it noon. So we grab this guy. Come over here. How do we do this? Do we do this? Can we do this? I don't think so. We can do this. works doing it from like over there but getting over there is weird we don't have ultra hand yet What if... Alright, call me crazy, but... Yeah. 
too low. Ryu just got up in the zone I charged, by the way. Oh, really? Could I land wing on platform so you can get a wing shield with that same wing? Could maybe, maybe. The question is how? Because that's up there, right? I mean, it worked. I just didn't get the, the ascend. That works. Go right here. So I'm not seeing the chest. Ah. What's this? This structure, yeah. I like that. Honestly, I like that. And then what we do here is we go this. Grab this Korok seat here. And then we would dive down to the stable, ideally. Wait, are there horses here? There are, aren't there? Ooh. Like this, and then go around. I actually like that.
Build with logs. Cheese with bombs. Is what we are actually calling it. Maybe not. That is a lot. I have to see how the speedrunners do it. It might be possible, actually. This might have to be a thing. But then the rest I could easily just... not do all of them, you know what I mean? Oops. Right. When do I plan to do this part? So this would be... Right before the, um, what do you call it, dungeon. The, uh, right before the depth dungeon. Yeah, three bombs makes it. I just have to be selective of where I use the bombs. Yeah, the spirit dungeon, that's the one. Spirit temple. I don't know how much there is to do here. I know you definitely have to get this thing. Is there anything in here worth getting? Ouch. Oh, the well lady. But I don't have to be here, I don't think. I'm almost positive that I don't have to necessarily meet her here. I can meet her anywhere. Oh, 
Hylian rice is useful. Although might not want to use this money right now because we're literally trying to, you know. That's true. There would be a pen thing here, wouldn't there? Okay, so let's let's look. Okay, so from here we would go straight to the shrine she's near the chasm now good to know yeah isn't it like the later and later she it gets in a normal run i i wasted a lot of time playing around with the the what do you call it the top stuff so In a normal run, it would right now it would probably be close to like one. Okay, so let's let's imagine then. That we have. <sighs> so, just to, to plot this out real quick. So, what we would do. Is we would drop down to here to grab the horse. We would go to here. Do whatever it is that we need to there, like the pen quest and everything. Uh, what is the pen quest at Riverside? I don't actually know. Here. Here. We wouldn't do this one. We would probably do this one. So we would go here. Eh, here. 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 Right. And then from here, we would ascend. Like, we would fly up. Probably grab this guy and this guy. We would do this, 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 these two, Talus, here, 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 like that. Do the, the, what is it, Colton thing? like that so we can finally hey legendary lords happy weekend sad to say you have to start your weekend with me saying I got to go get my daughter from school because it is early out day and then I'm going to have lunch and I'll be back in like two hours, hour and a half, something like that. And then what we might do after that, guys, is we might just run through the whole thing from the beginning again. Actually, not really, because not a lot has changed, if anything. So we'll we'll keep our save file the way we have it. It's a little bit weird because... We're doing this whole section here with stamina and slots that we don't actually have, but we'll pretend that we have the stamina and slots that we start with. So we'll do that. I will see you guys a little bit later. Y'all take care.